And so that second effect, where in fact, uh, you know, the adjustment in tightness dampens the initial adjustment. Sometimes it's called uh, it's called a rat race channel of unemployment insurance. Uh, and basically, the idea is that you know, when uh, if some people search less for jobs, what's going to happen is that since the number of jobs is kind of fixed, it's not that these jobs are going to disappear. You know, these people don't find a job. What happens is that you have, it's as if you had queues of workers in front of you know, factory gates. If some guys decide to search less, they'll just drop down the queue of workers, but some people will move up the queue, and these people will be able to, you know, you will just replace the guys who stop searching. So because, you know, there's kind of a finite number of jobs in the labor market, it's always a race for jobs. If people decide to search less, it's not that big a deal because there are they people who are behind them in the queue who are just going to move in front and... Uh, and take these jobs. So because of that rat race channel, actually the effect of uh, UI in the labor market is not as bad as, wh as what you think if you just focused on the fact that effort is less. Okay. Uh, this is a rat race channel basically. Uh, the idea is that some people move you know, in front in the queue when others search less. Okay, so that right rest channel is going to balance this moral hazard channel we talked about initially. Okay, uh, so overall here, if we want to summarize what are the effects of an increase in UI. So first of all, what happens to employment? So we know that employment for sure is going to fall. Yes, there's no doubt about that, uh, which means that unemployment for sure is going to go up. So indeed, UI has a cost. You know, it, really, it increases unemployment. Uh, but of course, there's a reason why we do UIs because people without UIs they have no income and their consumption will drop a lot. So there's a benefit to UI, but there's also a cost which is to increase unemployment. Here in this model, what happens to tightness? Tightness is actually going to go up. And as we see, this will kind of dampen the effects of um, the search effort. What happens to search effort? Well, because tightness is higher but, un uh, but employment is lower, it has to be that search effort of, co of course falls because of the increase in UI. And you know, of course, if you have more UI, uh, people have less incentive to search, so that's going to drop. Also, tightness has gone up, you know, which draws back a bit of effort, but not enough to compensate the initial drop in effort. And here's something we see, I've kind of loosely introduce this micro and macro elasticity of unemployment with respect to UI, so which capture like how much unemployment increases, how much employment decreases when you have UI. Here's the key thing that the micro elasticity. So it's positive because of course uh, UI tends to um, lead to an increase in unemployment, but that micro elasticity is less than the micro elasticity. So what that means in a sense that if you change UI to just one worker in your labor market, his probability to find a job will drop more than if you change UI for all workers in the labor market. Okay, uh, that's kind of the idea. And of course, the reason is that if everybody searches less, you know, firms because they need workers are going to you know post more vacancies to compensate for that drop. Uh, 